Hello. Hi. Oli Oli. Valeria here, surprisingly without a free monk's break. <laughs> Welcome! Way too late the game, but lately I've seen videos of Lolitas expressing the things they don't like about the fashion or about the community, and I thought, mm, well, that's quite right up my alley because I'm such a hater. <laughs> I'm kidding. In contrast with those videos that were making very valid points, this one has no seriousness whatsoever. It's borderline a uh, self-roast on myself because most of the things I don't like in the fashion are uh, because of how stupid they look on me. So just a little disclaimer, my opinion doesn't matter. And if you like any of the things I list in this video, that's okay. I'm just a salty old hack. So with that out of the way, let's go into the list. I don't like any headwear, whether it's a head bow or a headdress or a bonnet, you name it, if you have to tie it under your chin. And that's due to a very simple reason. I actually wish I had all the bonnets on the 2020 movie Emma. However, I know I would never do them justice. The worst part is that they are so pretty, so sometimes I cannot help myself and I get one of those things. And normally when that happens, I just tie it on the back. If because of the design that's quite not possible, I try to fix it in the way that allows me to do so. I've never been able to get rid of the double chin. I, I just don't know why. My body hates me. The thing with the Empaka dresses is that they look so, so gorgeous and pretty on the stock pictures and on the models. However, in real life, it's just so, so hard to avoid the pregnant look. Like, have you guys seen those new dresses by uh, this brand Selkie that everyone is gushing about? And they are absolutely gorgeous, but yeah, you, you just look pregnant. <laughs> of course, I still get them because I'm a masochist. However, yeah, I just look pregnant. <laughs> so at least if that ever happens to me, I have some comfy dresses to wear and I can still wear cute fashion while being with my belly. <laughs> One thing though, they are super, super good. If you are planning on eating a lot, let's say you're going to a buffet or something like that, they are absolutely perfect because you don't have to worry about stretching it or how you're going to look afterwards. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> this took me a fair bit to figure out. Because I'm a bit taller than the height Lolita pieces are normally made for, I thought, oh, longer skirts are going to look fantastic on me. Well, yeah, yeah, no. It happens that I'm blessed with quite skinny ankles man but not really and i always thought i looked quite off whenever i was trying one of these type of skirts however i just couldn't put my finger on it granted my dad would usually say that i look like a flamingo my mom was a bit nicer she said i looked like a chicken and whenever i'm wearing puffy sleeve my husband also says i look like a chicken so maybe that should have been my first clue about what was going on I feel like everyone and their mothers <laughs> love this type of shoes and you might have it in your closet or something slightly similar to that design. However, for me, they are just so unflattering. And don't get me wrong, they look super comfy because of the low heel. However, I'm just continuing with my personal blessings because I also have quite the skinny feet. I feel that I just look like a duck. And, you know, duck feet. I love old school, especially baby the Starship Bride releasing all these old school dresses. However, I only see Bobby. I'm so sorry, I, I only see her. <laughs> it's not news that Lolita clothes have these huge sizing problems. They are either made for quite skinny people or they are made for quite short people. So if you don't fit within those two requirements, 
it's very, very possible that clothes are going to look quite off on you. That being said, they're clothes and they should make you happy. So if someone needs to modify a garment in order to look better on it, that's no one else's business. For example, me, I do extend most of my straps so the jumper skirt can go to my natural waist and there is such happiness in a dress you have been looking for so long or that you really really like fits you perfectly and makes you feel as pretty as you think it would. This one is a tricky one for me because I do love themed meetups. I love getting the necessary materials for my outfit or I don't know accessories and stuff like that. However, I think that no one should feel that unless they fit that thing perfectly, they shouldn't be able to attend. Maybe someone really wants to attend, however, they don't have the time or means to get everything for that specific thing. And that's okay. It's actually not the end of the world. And in my own experience, there was this time in which my friends and I proposed a chocolate thing meetup to visit a chocolate museum locally and you know a lot of girls started responding to the event saying that they weren't going to attend because they didn't have anything chocolate related in their closets and just looking back on it because I was quite hurt at the time I just should have told them that it didn't matter they could still come I think from memory that we were just telling them Oh yeah, that's okay, I'm so sorry, you can't come, or something like that. And number two, if we didn't get a quorum or people weren't into the idea, we should have just gone on our own. We actually ended up cancelling and that's sad. <laughs> I'm actually very passionate about this one. <laughs> I do feel that closed shoes without any sort of legwork does look quite off. However, Sandals? Sandals are fantastic and fight me on that one because I will always defend sandals. They are so cute, they are fresh, especially if it's quite hot and they just look so cute and some outfits really look absolutely adorable with sandals and now brands do make them really adorable ones so I feel if they do do them then that's enough validation for me that they are okay. Same like with sandals, I feel that particularly in the West, we are quite strict with the Lolita fashion guidelines, especially when it comes to covering yourself up. And yeah, maybe as an introduction to Lolita, that's okay. However, I feel that sometimes we just go way too far with it. It's okay to experiment, it's okay to wear the clothes in a way that makes you feel comfortable, especially if it's super hot outside. And like, as far as the rule goes, the silhouette is the puffy skirt. So as long as you have that and the right accessories and the styling is good, there shouldn't be an issue with that. One thing is a core that it's really not Lolita but the person that is posting it is saying it's Lolita and another thing is to get all nitpicky about this, this and that if you know what I mean so for me <laughs> Chinese brands are just biting Japanese brands <laughs> but when it comes to styling they look so 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 pretty I find myself wanting to buy everything due to the styling alone and then I actually look at the dress and I'm like oh, okay yeah maybe this is not for me and I've heard people that say it's too cutesy not traditionally lolita and stuff but it just looks so cute sorry oh, they just look fantastic the makeup is amazing what they do with their wigs it's just so cute um my only thing is that they tend to use models that are even smaller than Japanese models and yeah as someone that is taller and of course weaker 
than this because sometimes it's like ah oh, is this actually going to fit me or am i going to look as pretty as this girl? and i think yeah probably not <laughs> but yeah yeah their photos jeff kiss and a bonus one <laughs> about the infamous animal is mickey ears go with everything sumi and that's it i could go on for ages <laughs> about the things i don't like in lovita fashion i actually didn't touch on the prints oh my god i have so many prints <laughs> or type of prints that i i don't like <laughs> but i would bore you to death and <laughs> you don't deserve to stand my rambling any longer <laughs> once again it's a fashion style so we are bound to disagree on some things and that's completely fine my opinions in this video don't matter at all they don't represent anything <laughs> about the lolita community i'm now 40 so please don't listen to me and that's it for me i really need to go i promised my husband i was going to cook him a peruvian dish so i will go to that on my angelic pretty please hopefully i don't destroy it so see you on the next one ciao